and welcome back to Sons of Pay, Bonnie's channel. Today is a nasty, nasty day. So I'm, so I'm going to be in the garage, garage making a chest for my daughter-in-law. Ooh, nasty out there. So there's all my slats that I have cut out. This is the equivalent of uh, a half a sheet of plywood that was four by eight. There are all the pieces to the chest cut out to the bottom, the two sides for the bottom and the two sides for the top. Now over here are all the slats that I cut out. This is how I begin it. I marked off, since these are the side pieces and they go on the end, I set them in place and I marked the end with, you can see the mark, the blue pencil. That's where it will sit. This little stop thing that I've been calling the check stops, I'm gonna glue it and set it on there. And then I put clamps on it. And then once it's you know securely there, then these pieces will fit in their gap that's there like that. And then I'll be able to glue it on the side and also put a screw through it if I want to. All right, so now, I have the check stops are glued and nailed on in the corners there, which then gives the sides something to attach to. So I've got them also glued on and nailed. And then I came up here on the top and I have the two top supports that are on. And then as for the top, <clears throat> what'll happen is I have these. The top we get attached to. All right, I attached the top sides to their piece of wood and glued them and nailed it. And it's just sitting there right now. Same on that side. Time to put the first slat on the side. I've got it tipped over. So that's the bottom. And then here's the first slat, and I went along. And as you can see, I don't do anything perfect. I got, everything's crooked. It's not exactly right. That's because I am not a professional. I am just a craft person trying to make stuff. All right, I just finished nailing it and extra glue. Now there it is, the first slat on the bottom of the box. And like I said, because my, uh, my sawing is crooked, et cetera, et cetera, um, there was a bit of a gap, as you can see right down there. I just put a little glue in there, put my finger along, push it in there, and rub my finger right along there. Kind of like when you do grouting or whatever, and just push that glue down in there. And uh, that gives it a little extra. There we go. First slat is on. Right here is this is not, there we go, it is a piece of wood that wasn't quite long enough to make the, the length because I sanded it and short, sanded it too short. So there's a tiny little wedge in there. And what I'm gonna do now is I have some sawdust. I have a container of it that I saved when I saw the wood. And I added water to it and I made a little paste. And then what I'm gonna do is, and I've squirted this with water to make this area wet too. I'm gonna fill this in and mold it in there with that paste so that gap disappears. Now you can see that gap is gone. And you know what, I should have took a still shot. The things I think of when I'm making these videos. Anyway, with my tiny little knife, I um, mushed it in there and it is rough and so after it dries, it'll be hard as a rock and I can sand it smooth a little bit with my Dremel. There I am still going up the sides with slats and because there's no support really in the middle, I've used little um, clamps to hold them together while they dry. And then, like I said, there'll be gaps that'll show up later. Um, even after the glue dries, there'll be some gaps. And I'll do this again with the wood paste and I'll fill in the gaps, like kind of like mortar. That's what it reminds me of. And then over here is the top. And I've already put the first slat on the top. And of course, like I said, it'll go up and around. So. 
we're making progress, then like I have to force myself to stop, let this dry, and before I move on, because um, it becomes too unstable with all this wet glue in the in the in the, in the wood slats. They're thin, so if if I do it too much, it just makes it just too unstable. So what I want to show you now is these are some weights that I have that I use frequently. I flipped it over on its side. This is this is one side that I'm working on, but as you can see. That one right there is just not lined up with the rest. Earlier, what I was doing was I had clamps that I could hold them together so they dried in place, but I don't have clamps this big. I don't have the big clamps. So what I do is I'm gonna flip this over, and now you push on everything over. You see if I push on, see how that one goes down? These are all good, but right there, if I push that one down, it'll now line up. So what I do is I have these weights, and there they go. And that will hold it in place while it dries. Not long after our snowstorm, we got a flood. Here's my poor brother-in-law with his plow trying to clean up the driveway and try to push that water somewhere, anywhere, to get it out of the driveway. Unfortunately, it froze in place and was several inches, even a foot thick in some spots later. Well, back to making the chest then. So I've come all the way up the side, and here's that last piece. This is the top. Here's that last piece. And so then what I did was, of course, <laughs> scribed it. This is line. Put it up against where it's supposed to be, and then the excess I can now cut off and it'll be flush across the top, and that'll be one side done. A little squirt bottle. That's a pretty good size gap right there. <clears throat> Here is the finished bottom. With all the slats glued on, there's, I haven't done any sanding. There it is on the inside, on this side. All the slats are in, top and bottom. It's still drying, so I can't do anything for uh, for a while now. It has to wait till all the glue is dry. Then I have quite a bit of gaps to fill in all the way around it with the wood paste. And then when that's all done, I'll begin sanding it. <laughs> 